Hey guys, Mo here from Linka, and I just wanted to go through a brief uh, uh, firmware upgrade instructional guide uh, specifically for your iOS device with your Linka Smart Lock. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that our Linka is connected with our smartphone, and you'll see that by seeing a blinking green LED on the LED indicator, and now there's a little cool feature that actually shows the green blinking light in the app itself. Second thing we want to confirm is that our lock itself is actually unlocked. That will make sure that we go through the firmware process smoothly. All right, let's get started. So we're going to go to the settings tab. And if there are no new firmware upgrades in the firmware version here, you will not see an update button. So for this case, clearly there's a new firmware version, so you'll see an update button right there. Let's go ahead and proceed by pressing update there. All right, now we enter into the upgrade wizard and you'll see here a pretty nifty uh, progress bar that shows you how far along you are in the upgrade process and since we've already confirmed that we're connected and unlocked let's move forward all right now the first step is you're going to see a solid purple light if you do not see a solid purple light we're going to go back and try again but right now you got a solid purple light and now let's move forward to the uh, process all right uh, here's where we go back into the settings tab and forget our Linka device by clicking on the eye and then toggling Bluetooth off and then back on again. So let's go ahead and do that. Settings. Find your Linka One device. Forget that device. Toggle Bluetooth off. And then back on. Now let's go back to the app. Now you'll see the proceed button really activated. We're going to press proceed. And now we'll see the installation process beginning, uh, and this will happen wirelessly, which is pretty awesome. And this should probably take about anywhere between um, 7 to 15 seconds, depending on uh, your, your iOS processor. And during this process, you'll also see that the LED indicator is now yellow. All right, looks like we're done. It's pretty fast. And then one more time, we're going to toggle Bluetooth off and then back on. We can do that from the slide up menu. So let's just press Bluetooth off, back on again. And now our finish button should be active. We press finish. It'll take us back to the settings section, but just remember, we forgot the device earlier. So now we're gonna to wanna to reconnect or repair again. So we're gonna pair. Now the LED indicator should start blinking green. All right, great. So now we're all connected. We got a new firmware update, all set. Thank you very much for watching.